coming back to the point that I made earlier, that I don't think if we just have a, uh, uh, a distributed ledger and we put like information into it, it it doesn't necessarily create truth or uh, um, trustworthiness. Um, unless you have somewhere an agreed common truth or you have some trusted parties that when they put something in, everybody would say, yeah, I believe what is in there. Uh, and in our uh, sort of context, when we talk with our customers and looked at our own kind of production environment, how suppliers are used, what are the relationships, it turned out um, it is important to maintain this peer-to-peer -peer relationship between a supplier and a manufacturer or a manufacturer and the next customer. Um, there, there is no interest in putting data too much into uh, like a, a shared distributed ledger. Um, so the idea of having a verifiable credential, which is basically a piece of information that is signed in a very simple way by somebody like an issuer, in our case the certifier of a manufacturer that would have insight into the production environment and would, could, could say, yeah, the way this product uh, is produced involves so and so much CO2. And by the way, I also uh, verified the information that I received from uh, the upstream supplier. So all the components which make up like 80% of uh, the f uh, product carbon footprint. So the certifiers pl play a really important role here as the one that issue credentials. And the credential is then given to the manufacturer, which could be a supplier uh, to, to the next uh, uh, step. Uh, and they would be in the, in the um, uh, power then to present parts of this credential uh, that are given by the, by the certifier. So I have these three clearly distinct roles, the, the issuer, the, the holder, and then the verifier. And this, these clear roles can be sort of chained up in the supply chain. Uh, and the blockchain comes in really only in the form um, that the public keys and the revocation list, the schemas have to be known and not stored centrally somewhere. So it's a, it's a in a way, uh, a very different approach than saying we need a shared distributed ledger, all the PCFs must, must be in there so everybody can look them up. Because this will, shy, will scare away <clears throat> many of the, the parties that we need to join in here. Mm -hmm. So that's um, sort of why we, we're so strongly behind uh, the verifiable credentials and the particularly the implementations from the Hyperledger uh, 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 Foundation, like Indy uh, areas and so on. And, and we, we also extend the, 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 the open source stack in order to address the specific industrial use cases. Um, so these stacks are thought initially maybe for people, like identities, self-sovereign identities, or we apply them to things and companies. So it's a, it's a different application, but it works perfectly in this context as well. Yeah.